You want to talk? You want to be on TV? Want to be on TV? You can talk about a painting. Today, we're trying to get the big picture on Pablo Picasso's Guernica from 1937, one of the most famous political paintings ever made. What does it symbolize? What's it about? What's the style? Do we even need to be aficionados to care, to know? What's going on here? Is this a masterpiece or not? It's so awkward. Yeah, it's very He's facing awkward. that way. He's facing this way. That one facing that one. That one got to head back. Everybody's got to head different way. That doesn't make no type of sense. It looks like... I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I need somebody to answer. Do you like it or do you I hate it? it. You love, love it. Because, because he put the stories in this uh, painting. It speaks about a time in history. It speaks about something that influenced someone else that caused distress. Absolutely, it's a copy of Guernica that's in Reina Sofia in uh, Madrid. Uh. <laughs> it looks like a masterpiece to me because Why? it looks quite striking. Yeah. It does draw my, my eye as I drawn to it because it does show a scene of carnage. It's a portrayal of a bombing of a town in Spain by yes. Uh, Germans. Yes. And uh, it's actually the inspiration of a piece that I did. The piece that I, I created was called uh, Trey Marica after Trayvon Martin. And so you can hear the, the similarities in the, the names. But um, it inspires me because th there was a, a massive amount of life, lives that were lost wrongfully, unjustly. Every area of this painting sort of breaks up into other areas. Some people see a skull hiding right there in the middle of it. You see severed arms, dead children, a bull that is somehow trying to seek refuge, a horse that seems to have been stabbed. Here's a woman screaming, trying to get out of this window, and fire and the bombs of the Nazis exploding outdoors. And why would it be in black and white? Just the color he chose. Yeah, why? Uh, maybe that's what he had available. Maybe what he had available. Wise. They couldn't afford color. Well, black and white to me is quite grim. So I guess it's a grim scene. I was thinking too, it looks like a photograph. Yeah. A little bit like you would see in the newspaper. Like the colors behind you. Yeah. I usually... <laughs> It helps to evoke certain uh, s certain emotions, different colors. So color to take it out. To take it out means to possibly remove the, the happiness or the emotions that <laughs> are, are possible. If I said cubism, would you know that word? I've heard of it, yes. Cubism. For me, I think this is where cubism, Picasso's approach, actually does make more of an impact, more sense to me, as it's trying to kind of convey not so much the photorealism of a, of a happening or an event, but more the emotional impact of it. So, That's brilliant. Whereas I may not necessarily see it in, you know, uh, a guitar or a bull, sure. but for something like, you know, the chaos of bombing and death and war, he did this it. conveys it very well. So cubism is basically when we see both sides, both eyes at the same time, the mouth, a body going down, a body going up. Play me a beat that goes with that painting. Is this your painting? No. And why are you using that beat? The 6-8 is the rhythm I'm using. You can get jazz. Okay. And is this a, Yashi music? Um, and is this a jazzy painting? Absolutely. Or, is it organized or is it chaotic? Both. Now zoom in. Zoom in on only one part of the painting right there. Beautiful. Now this. I agree. I agree.
Could it be a masterpiece? Yeah, it can be. Thank you. Why is Picasso's Guernica one of the most famous anti-war paintings ever made? Picasso strips all narrative away, makes war universal. There is no story, no beginning, no middle, no end to this. This is always happening. He takes all color away. All detail has been removed until all you see is what we do to each other. Picasso somehow summarized the pain and the nobility that it takes to rise above this pain, and every part of the painting tells you this is something we have to triumph over. <laughs>